What is good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more reactions, man. Today we got a Jubilee video. This came out like three hours ago. I'm not gonna lie. This one is called Women Guess Each Other's Weight While Blindfolded. And I'm not gonna lie, I might make some jokes. I'm not gonna cap, bro. I'm not gonna cap. <laughs> so don't get mad at me. I'm not fat phobic. I might be a fat phobic. I'm not gonna lie. You shouldn't be fat, okay? I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck, all right? I'm just gonna keep it a buck. You can't, you shouldn't be fat. I'm just gonna be real. You shouldn't be fat, no matter who you are. If you have a kid and she's she's getting weight or he's getting weight, you better lock the fuck in as a parent and, and tell them to lose that shit. All right, you better you better take away their fruit snacks and you better replace it with some grapes. You feel me? You better take away their, their juice boxes, their apple juice, and replace that motherfucker with some water. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. You can cry all you want. You get some water, all right? And if y'all are new to the channel, man, hit that like button, share whatever, subscribe, do it, I guess you appreciate the support. I love y'all. Hope y'all having an amazing day. I am. I know I am for sure. October just hit. No, I didn't. Yeah, I did actually, bro. I am like so lost in the dates right now. It is October 1st. It's a good, it's a good time. It's a good time. Let's go ahead and get into this, man. If you guys want me to react to any other videos, any good ones, any recent videos, um, leave it in the Discord. Check out all my social, check my Instagram out. Uh, I'm gonna be posting on there once again. I'm gonna be back on that. So uh y'all check all that out. Check out my Twitch. I'm gonna be streaming again soon. And let's get into the video. Is everyone happy with their weight? I am. No. No. Is there a woman who is? Yeah. I am. Okay, so I'm I'm 180. I'm I think I'm one I'm like 180. I'm struggling between 179 and 180. I'm 6'2. I'm trying to get up to 200. I'm not gonna lie, but I had to eat a lot, I had to work out a lot. I got some protein. I've been working out some, you know what I'm saying? I've been back on my workout grind. I'm trying to build up some some definition. I'm trying to get my chest the right. It's my chest is not right, I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to get it up though. Um, but I'm trying to get in that 200 rank, you know what I'm saying? I should be around 200 off pure muscle, muscle and off your body fat, but that's not, not here nor there, but I got to eat better. Um, I do eat decent. I just got to stop drinking this, the garbage sometimes. I can't help it, bro, but I'm just like, I can't help it, but I have to get some sweet sometimes. I, I just have a sweet tooth. I know that's a dumb excuse, bro, but it is what it is. The last time I was like decently chubby was like in middle school. But ever since then, I've always been like a skinny type of guy. But that's why it's, it's hard for me to put on muscle. I have a fast metabolism, but that's not that's not an excuse. I'm not gonna lie. I can shit it out quick though. I'm not gonna cap. <laughs> when I shit, I shit. Ten piece chicken nuggets with a small fry. They have a discount on the combo right now, y'all. I have Chick Fil A. Okay. I just get like the fried sandwich, but like just ketchup, no pickles. So here's my here's my order. I'm pausing the video so I eat my ass from the back. Here's my my this used to be my I haven't ate McDonald's in a fat minute. Um, when I usually do, it's because uh, it's brought to me and by random. I didn't ask for it. But when I, when I used to go there, not religiously, but often, I would get two McChickens, small fry, and a high C. High C go crazy. All right? You got to get the high C. If it's watery, bro, don't ever go to that, that McDonald's ever again, okay? But that was my order. Um, I also, the crispy chicken sandwich, bro, those are bust. Awesome. At McDonald's. So I would pick like See, a Chick-fil-A sauce or something. I'm gonna get hate for this, but I'm not a sauce girl. Oh, I know. That's I crazy. Yo, yeah, just grow up. up so. okay. I was just snacking. I'm a serious snacker, oh, so okay. just had some chips and dip. I didn't have lunch today. I'm starving. Oh, was that just because of time? Yeah. Jubilee, man, y'all not paying? Y'all not feeding them, bro? Come on, man. Y'all don't got like a like a little chip table? What dinner? Girl a girl dinner. What's, What's that? Dinner? Is that just like a normal meal? Or it's like putting like random things together yeah, and making and calling a dinner. It a meal. Yeah. I don't know. Me and DoorDash are locked in. We're me. We, I, I'm not ever gonna suffer. My girl dinner. That's is crazy. Like a bunch of white meat chicken. <laughs> that's that healthy. Yeah. That sounds like a real dinner. That's <laughs> healthy. No vegetables. To me, that's not a real dinner. <laughs> hey, she got some like gat on her. Y'all can't see it because my camera's in the way. Go to for me. Yeah, like cheese and crackers, or I have a lot of cheese sandwiches, or like cheese and tomato sandwiches. Oh, like a fried You're so egg, cap. Put, like, you add more than that. Come on, let's be honest. Get in there, you flip it. There's like some soy glaze, rice with like furikake on it. You throw some edamame. Food or what? Your dog onions. dinner sounds good. Did that change <laughs> where you think anyone should be in line? The person who said that they eat what was it like white white breast chicken? It's like a um, typical like gym bro dinner. Oh. Like, it is. Oh. That's good protein. Like in the middle. Cause she's at the lightest right yeah, now. Yeah, we know where that protein going straight to that gat. Oh, baby, it is. Well, I'm just thinking usually picky eaters, right? Like your. I kind of like her. I like her hair too. So I want her for real. Eat as much just because you're picky. 
I'm the type of person where if there's nothing on the menu that I will like want to eat, I won't eat anything. Okay. Oh. You should go more down that way. Maybe one or two. I feel like the person who said they skipped lunch today and they would eat cheese and crackers. Oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> bro, cheese and crackers time? is crazy, okay, bro. Cool. I feel like that's accurate. So, From what we know. Yeah. I don't know if this will make anyone comfortable, but... What I'm is her shoes, though, bro? I used to have anorexia. It doesn't lead to... Hey, she's kind of bad, though. Riley's kind of like, kind of hot. Body dysmorphia thinks you're going to look. Like, people think they're going to look more, like, toned. Yep. And it's such a common misconception because like, <sighs> even if you're getting thinner when you're anorexic, you're not getting more toned. You just look, like, smaller but flabbier, <sighs> if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, I actually had a different experience just because my anorexia um, was due to me being a ballet dancer. So I Oh, I heard ballet dancers get put on lockdown, bro, when it comes to shit like that. They are they are forced to lose weight. But, they are forced um, not I was to eat. My period for wow. Years. Ballet. A lot that of is crazy. When you go audition, it just kind of is an environment where it feels like the skinnier you are, the more valuable you are. I think definitely that was always just like my goal to get as skinny or small. That is so bad. Being a ballet dancer is so unhealthy. I struggle with it anymore as much. Yeah, obviously, because yeah. you eat. I feel like you should be number yeah. one. She's not, though. It's Did actually her <laughs> other girl, because she's short. Sport? She's I definitely the lightest one. I played sports that much. I've been trying to get more into it more recently, but it's never been a consistent. Yeah, don't lie. Both yeah, we my know. my parents are bas or were basketball players in college, so wow. athletics were, like, mandatory. But now that I'm out of, like, high school sports... Yeah, she got the height on her for sure. Fitness thing. You sound kind of tall. Yeah, you sound really tall. <laughs> she is there? tall, yeah, bro. Yeah. I definitely am taller. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have a gym membership. Do I go often? No. Hell but no. Currently now I do ballroom. You don't go at all. Don't oh, say often. You don't go at all. She could tango. <laughs> In high school, I did wrestling and judo and jujitsu. I, I kind of work out like three to four times at the gym a week. And then I kind of like hit or roller skating or surf to kind of fill in the- Hit um, workout, what is I that? Like, uh, weightlifting, heavy weightlifting. Nice, so, yeah. okay. Talking so, India. Shout out to Dirk. To the heavier, yeah. well, because muscle weighs more than- Nope, they weigh the same. Really? Yes. Like okay. a pound of muscle and a pound of fat is the same, but muscle is leaner, so it looks- Maybe. A pound of muscle and a pound of fat is literally a pound. It's the same thing. It's a pound. Bro, this cat. It's a pound, bro. That's like saying, what weighs more? A pound of feathers or a pound of bricks? It's a pound. The same thing. Looks smaller. Yes. So That's if someone's 200 fun. pounds and they are like have a higher body percentage of fat. I'm not gonna lie. Women are so That's fake for not for not calling her out on that. I would have been oh, out, bro. I would have been called, called a dude out, bro. I'm like, bro, it's the same shit. Like I would have been said that. No, I feel like Jasmine should be towards the middle, because right now this isn't like even an IQ uh, IQ ranking. Because if it was, you would have probably been last right now. Maybe you can talk about what affected your perception of your own weight. I have a uh, older sister who was super. Like, what are you doing? Those goals. Um, so I compared myself to her a lot. We definitely didn't look the same, but um, that was my experience. Hey, she got, she got some broad shoulders on her, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I lost a bunch of weight, so I was bigger when I was younger. So I love my older sister. She's just like, um, I just compared myself to her a lot. Even like, like- uh, There's no way you're getting emotional like, right now. To like act like her and all the stuff, so. Oh, this man is fighting a Walmart bag right now. It's just, she was like my idol, so. I feel like I have social media imposed expectations you scaring me I like tell myself to look like the models mm -hmm. who are similar to my height bro like, siri i did not call you bro like what's up my phone right now way that it wouldn't have if it didn't exist in my like teen years i'm black and the beauty standard in like black culture is not thin you're black you rap music they like really glorify like a curvy body ain't no way um, and that was something that was like harsh my family I'm four percent black, so they call me names that correlated to my weight, and that was really tough, and that caused a lot of my weird relationship with tough people. love, shoddy. My first as a Hispanic, bro, you're when as, as you're as a Hispanic, you're growing up, bro. This cat, as a Hispanic, you grow up being being basically mocked and bullied by your own relatives and family, like you probably be called gordo or flaquito, whatever you know. what I'm saying. And being called those, it just it just builds you up, bro. Cause like you, it won't affect you anymore when you go to when you go into school. So bullying won't really matter to you. It'll be it'll end up becoming your fucking nickname, bro. Like and and sometimes it's cool. Like it's I.
maybe something that will motivate the person to lose the weight. So, I mean, sometimes bullying uh, helps. I'd probably bully you. Eating disorder was like binge eating. I wanted to gain weight really bad. I don't know what he's and doing, bro. This man is fighting a, a Walmart bag. put on a little bit of weight. Just cute. I was shocked and I didn't like it. But I still feel like I was never at a point where my family thought that like I looked like the rest of them, I guess. It's That's fucked up, that, though. Like I'm also black and um. I feel like I was on the opposite side and I never had like a Yeah, you look black. Like, don't. Like, day -day, people would just say certain things to me. Even like when I would try to do things more out of my comfort zone, like there was always someone to say, no, 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 don't, don't, don't wear that. That's, mm. not, that's not you. I, I relate to I'm that like, my so bad. Much. But I definitely <clears throat> stepped out of that. Well, I grew up and my mom's Vietnamese. So, you know, like she was very harsh on me and had an expectation of me to be a certain size. She's like the, the classic almond mom. Like yeah. She, yeah, I was gonna say that's basically that, like, that's like, basically what how they are. They're too sugary, oh, you know, okay. like that kind of person. And like so, a parent life growing up, regardless of how other people would see me, it would be like that voice, that one voice of my mom, kind of just always in my head. My mom having been an like if I was getting fat, I'd want somebody to tell me. That was kind of uh, incongruous with what the expectations were in living in the U.S. You're kind of being pulled in ten different directions of what you were supposed to look like, and you can't. And I hate it nowadays. I hate it nowadays that that. People People are trying to make or being overweight or being big is like a normality normality and it's not bro it's it's unhealthy bro and there's no such thing as being fat healthy that's not a thing bro it's, it's just not you're getting fat by eating a lot no matter how hard you try so you constantly just kind of feel a little bit bad about and yourself. overeating I think Jasmine should be over here. I think, yeah, I think we'll swap because weightlifting and you said lean bulk that well, sounds I feel like, like muscular. I feel like Jasmine should take my place. I was thinking we could all say what our being fat is not normal, is. guys. It's I not. Love food and I love variety, but I used to have orthorexia, which is like really hyper focusing on like health. So it was just like you don't gotta build up muscle. You don't gotta be lean and all this and that. Just that don't be big. And I'm now like doing a lot more intuitive eating. I'm a vegetarian. I've also struggled with bulimia. And oh bulimia. shit! Yeah, that that's big cap. You are not a vegetarian, bro. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. You aren't. You just lied to a bunch of people. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, you definitely had a full course meal before you joined uh, this, this this little episode here. Intuitive eating. I'm a vegetarian. I've also you definitely ate good before you came here. And binge eating disorder. I would say I'm mostly recovered, but I don't. I still have binge tendencies. I do yeah. feel like if I weighed less, it wouldn't be a problem because, especially with my like previous mobility issues, like it would be easier maybe on my joints. But my body, I'm like so thankful for what it can do that I try not to be upset about my weight at all because that just leads you down a bad path. True. Body neutrality is really it, really it shouldn't leave you down a bad path. It should leave you to motivate yourself to get healthier and skinnier, not skinnier, but lose the weight. You're using this uh, emotion as a negative, it's supposed to be a positive. You're supposed to turn that into a positive. Your body is like the least interesting thing about you. So you really shouldn't, you shouldn't let it get to you. What you look just like let it motivate what you. What kind of a person you are, what you put into the world is just worlds more important than how big you are. Is everyone happy with their weight? Nah. Nah, no. I'm not. No. I mean, I am, yeah, but I, I want to gain more. I will say I, I'm okay with where I'm at because um, I feel a lot healthier. That's than I used to be. I used to be I like at 178, 179 since like 2020. I am not mad or ashamed of my body, so I, I will that. celebrate and value myself completely the same. So I will still wear all those outfits that I probably should not, but I will wear. No, wear what you want to wear, girl. That's what I'm saying. I try really hard to just yeah, whatever, wear whatever you want to wear. Belong or should be out, and I just want to constantly tell myself like, oh, you're beautiful, you're pretty, and like, just start speaking kindly and you'll start seeing yourself in a different light versus what other people tell you. I personally feel just off of the energy. I don't want to sound like I'm being fat phobic, but I tend to my am. I'm not person. pro fat. I agree, I think that you two should switch at the front. Do you think you guys- Hey, W move, move right there. Lineup? W move. I think it's as good as it's gonna get, maybe. <laughs> she's tall, so she's definitely big, bigger. Oh fuck, this is nerve wracking. I want to see who weighs as much as I do. Bro, was that 216?
Hey, sorry in the middle kind of bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. She's kind of cute. Hi. I like her for real. Yeah, I thought yeah, she was my high. height. It was my shoes, man. Riley? Yeah, I, I feel like you look I exactly like what you saw. You yeah, to be honest, you look like how I pictured Huh, interesting. So, <laughs> so <laughs> Oh, man. Smash, 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 smash. So, in... Oh, wrong video, my fault. <clears throat> Camille. In sixth... See, bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I, bro, I, I would, bro. If, I'm not. It's not even about dating, bro. But, like, I would date her, no problem. I'd literally send up the wrong with her weight, you know, like that. I don't. You know, what I'm saying she's, she's good, she's good, she's good, she's good, she's good. <sighs> so, in seventh, the lightest spot, Camille. In and it's, it's fine, baby. Sixth, it's fine. Jasmine. Fuck with me, we probably gonna Fifth. we gonna put you on. We gonna we gonna get you in the gym. Fourth, Riley. Third, India. Second, talking America. India. And big ass. It was close. I weigh ninety-seven point two pounds. <laughs> I'm one twenty-four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And 133. 158. 159. 257. Bro, you weigh more than me. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. 274. You're pushing 300, man. Yeah. That is so unhealthy, bro. That is so bad. And she's probably like 5'6, five, 5'7, five, 5'5, five, five, five maybe. I don't know. I'm not next to y'all. I can't tell. Bro, that is so obese. I'm not even trying to be mean, but bro, get in the fucking tip. Come on, at least jog to McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? At least jog. Do something. 274. Fuck me. How's everyone feel? Like I need to gain weight. No, you don't. You don't need to gain weight. Just gain muscle. Weird now. Like being under 100 makes me feel really insecure sometimes. No, no, like I feel no. like less of a woman or something. No, I, no, that doesn't no bro. Me. What the I feel fuck? Like I tried That's to kind of crazy. Hints, but like I was on the bigger side, but I feel like yeah. it's easier to be like you some, go over there. Sometimes it's just genetically, you know, you're just, just gen genetically like lightweight or, or just like not able to put on muscle mass or fat, whatever. It's okay, bro. It's okay. Versus you to tell me I should yeah. come over here. Yeah. And so I kind of experienced like I don't know how to get myself. To Look, the bro, Shadi, Shadi got her got some sweat stains under there, man. She 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 packing. One's gonna want to push me over here. I think that's an interesting point too. Is like so many of us struggled with eating. She got tit sweat. Milk, that's so crazy. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People think that just because you're over a certain weight that you can't suffer or like struggle with anorexia, but there's no weight class. There's no look to an eating disorder, and I feel like. People should be more knowledgeable that an eating disorder is is mental. It's not just physical. We're not just our weight. We're she she's weight. in her she's in her own head right now because of her family, bro. They they bullied her into thinking that she's too skinny, bro. She's not. As long as you eat you eat healthy and you work out, if you can't gain weight or you know you're still skinny, that's just what it is, bro. Just stick to what, what you're doing, your diet. Stick to a good diet. And I mean, it is what it is. Like you're just built that way. If anything, it's your family's fault for booing you into thinking that it's it's a problem. It's not. That's like you look good. Any part of who we are. I have friends, and they'll down talk themselves. They're just in their own head. Other girls like, oh, she's so pretty. Oh, I wish I had this. And I'm like, see, they okay, compare themselves to other women, bro. You can't do that. Yourself. Don't compare yourself to other people. Don't worry. About Unless you're fat as fuck.